Rest appears to be a greater control of this fa facility. I, I wish to thank Sh uh, Shamani for the wine. That, that was overly kind. I'd be willing to bear a gift back to him. Last night at Red Mantis Falls, I collected the sap from a nearby palm tree. If placed in coconut shells and stored in for a few bells time, it makes for fine wine. See, it should be ready by now. I left three shells out there. Maybe take some to Shimani for me. I'm glad he moved on with his life. Hey, I, I hope to one day do the same. Dressed, what a homie guy. What a homie. He's doing his best. He's doing his best. I feel bad for him. I took the worst turn possible. Got some shells out. There's one. Oh, ooh, ooh. Here, palm wine. Oh no, this toad's eyeball in the thing. It's gonna hit me, isn't it? Didn't. Oh, I turned a blind eye. I see. Thank goodness. I don't want to fight the thing. Get out of here. Back to Shimani Lamani. Shimani Lamani, my guy. Need some Marmot steak? We're gonna need to get some food at some point because we just ran out. How are we supposed to get our EXP buffs if we uh, don't have food? Oh, we're stuck in the trees, in the trees. No, I'm good. I don't want to do this fate. That guy, Napoleon Bon Bon Born to Party. That's a that's a good name. That's a good name. Napoleon Born to Party. That was a straight up dragon. I didn't or like a wyvern. I didn't realize that was. Oh, it's like a leviathan armor. That's really cool. It's been some time, Bello. What what news do you have of rest? Got you some coconut palm wine. Ah, yes, I can recall he did have some knowledge of winemaking. A simplistic but nevertheless effective method that utilizes the natural properties of palm sap. I'll have to enjoy this batch before it spoils. We're not so different, Dressed and I. Two men who have long struggled not to let our scars define us. I worry he has been alone for with his thoughts for far too long. Aye, it is, it is past time I paid him a visit. Thank you for looking after him, Bella. Shimani Lodabadapani. Room with Glee, and he wishes to share some re the reason why with you. By the gods! Bella, listen! I know you're eager to wash your hands of this wine business, but I have discovered something extraordinary about dress palm wine. Still each coconut with a, with a leaf. Leaf, which has a very distinct shape and an unusual order. I thought it was I was going mad at first, but now I am certain. These are the leaves of a Bacchus grapevine. You know what that means? Somewhere in Raincatcher Gully, the legendary vine still grows. If we could obtain a cut, a cutting. We could retrieve the Bacchus wine industry, revive the, the Bac Bacchus wine industry. You must know where Dressed found these leaves. Here, take one of them back to him and ask what he knows. Off we go. Dressed, we're coming back. We're coming back, my guy. We gotta know where you got your wine from, my dude. Nim Nimue Whiskey. Del Mank and Who's up there? Oh my god, it's... Can't click on this book. They're too far away now. Dang. Dressed, we're coming. Get out of here, gigging toads. I don't want to fuck with you. No, leave me alone. Both of you leave me alone.
The Gubu. No, oh, cute Gubus. Gubus are cool looking. Gubu. Oh, hello again. What, what is it? It's just a leaf, isn't it? And chose it because it was pretty. Didn't know it was rare. Found them near the juggernaut to the south, but didn't see any grapevine. A fresh gubu tracks, though. Maybe, maybe the leaves came from the vines growing on the back of one of those uh, one such beast. If you go out looking for it, please be careful. Some gubus are very ter territorial than others, or more territorial than others. You have to defend yourself. We're gonna go kill us a gubu. They, apparently they have gr wine vines growing on their backs. Gubu! It's right here. For a very specific gubu. Oh yes! Shez Shezmu. Hello, Shezmu. I see those vines on your back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're Shezmu. We got a Bacchus cutting from Shezmu. Get up there. This train, I'll be right back. Shimani Lomani. What did Dress have to say, Bella? Tell me everything. Here's a stick. Got you a stick. It's a present from me to you. Ha <laughs> ha! I was right. Smell this, this texture. I hold it in my hands. A Bacchus grapevine cutting. Oh, this fucker. Come now, enough with the nonsense. I've heard talk about of your discovery. I refuse to believe that your common adventurer and novice Vin Vincener could... Yeah, fuck off, guy. Well, as my witness, it is a Bacchus wine vine. Great vine. Where did you find this fantastic specimen? What? Offer this to me, but why? There's no... There's no better... Put no, n there is none better position to reconstruct the Bacchus vineyards than you, Master Birglint. Beer you have the resources, the knowledge, and the passion to do so. It would be selfish of me to, to keep this cutting, but bruh, you could have made so much money. Why? Never knew you cared so deeply about your crowd. Thank you, good sir. I will not squander this gift. Just a few years' time, it will. I swear that every tavern across Eorzea will once again be clamoring for the cat for a cask of Wineport's legendary Bacchus wine. Sir, you needn't. Wait, 
the shape of this bottle, the scent of the label, this couldn't possibly be a 1547 Bacchus. But that's impossible. This vintage, this vintage has been not been seen since years before the calamity. The crown jewel of my personal collection. For years I debated opening it, wondering if today or tomorrow would be the ideal time. Now I realize that it was never meant for me. Be savored by the saviors of the wi of Wineport, I say. He made a, he has made us an offer we cannot refuse. Master Gagruju, find no finer wine. We have forever changed Wineport, Bella. Gagruju is like all over right here. Why? Thank you for your kindness and your generosity. But do not permit me to delay you any longer. You deliver the wine to Captain Weisgate. Hmm? Well, yes, I would very much like to drink it, but I am a patient man. I have faith that one day I shall have another opportunity to taste perfection. Not in your lifetime, my guy. I'm sorry, but wine takes forever to age. Maybe when you're old, maybe when you're an old fogey. Wine takes a very long time to age. It'll be many, many years in the future. Oh, I didn't mean to get off my mount. Mount armor looks so cool, but I know they bought it. Unless it was for like an event, I know they bought it on the store. Unless it it's an event or an achievement or something, which I have no clue about. Which could totally be. I've only been I haven't even I haven't I've only been playing this game since July. So it's like I haven't been playing too like I haven't been playing for even a year. So like if there's stuff I don't know, obviously that's a you know, that's a very you know, general thing. A prolonged absence has, was beginning to concern me. So, what are the wine I asked you to bring? Here is the best wine in existence as of right now. Is that seven hairs? A 1547 Bacchus? Even I know how rare that is. I have to admit, I didn't think you had it in you. Congratulations, Bella. Thanks to you, this will be the most luxurious feast Costa del Sol has seen in years. During the links you went to, yeah, I hope our guests appreciate it. Speaking of which, your associates arrived short a short while ago. She appeared to be growing somewhat impatient. Perhaps you could tell her that the banquet is beginning about to begin. I got a goo boo. I got a baby goo boo. Baby goo boo. Right there. Got a baby goo boo. We're gonna use baby goo boo. Indian god. Baby Goo Boo, come on out. No, you baby Goo Boo. So cute. He's so cute. You got your, you got your butt. Look at him right there. Oh, you can't see because I'm there. Oh, there. Your butt. Oh, he moved. He's so cute. Your Stola. Bill is concerned for your well-being. You have the look of a woman who has been to the seventh hell and back. And uh, that a guest should be expected to supply the vict victuals for a banquet held in her own honor. This while the shadow of Titan looms over us, uh, over all of us. Beggar's belief. I can only applaud your so uh, sto stoicism. I have been asked to endure such ignominy. I fear I should have accepted my my lot with less grace. Wait, this, this was a feast for us? Fuck. Lady o Lady Oshola! Lady Oshola! Yes, little guy! A thousand pardons for this extreme discourtesy. I was wholly unaware of your true identity, ma'am. I had, not, had I known, I would never have permitted my men to subject you to such unspeakable ordeals. Uh. Now she must have sensed something was amiss. Oh, it was him. 
Come now. You didn't seriously think I would send you running the length of and breadth of the rails for a banquet, did you? I spare her your mockery, Captain. Your intent was unclear to me until this moment. Unlike me, Bella had no knowledge of your tradition. Mayhap you, mayhap you would be so good as to enlighten her. What the fuck are we doing? Aye, aye. Fair is fair. There's no sense hiding it any longer. We five uh, were chosen by our brothers and sisters, and before the company of heroes disbanded, we each swore a solemn oath. That any who would be following our footsteps must be weighed and measured, not by their reputation, but, their d but by their deeds. Each man would judge these would-be god slayers by his own criteria. Even if one found her wanting, she would be rejected without a second thought. But if she proved herself worthy, she show we shown that we uh, we swore that we would do our utmost to support her cause. The world has never been full of brave uh, has the world has never been full of brave souls eager to give their lives for a righteous cause. But all too few capable of making a difference with their sacrifice. Send wave after wave of hapless adventurers into the jaws of a foe against whom they have no hope of victory is worse than futile. Titan is not only to be challenged lightly, but we will be not be the com complicit in the deaths of the unworthy. Which is why the five of you d d Sorry, I'm getting a little lightheaded. Ooh. Which is why the five of you da Dined to test Bella with such commendable thoroughness. I am well spent, I am sure. But tell us, Captain, what is the assign assessment of you and your fellows? He is a brave one. That must is not much is certain. I only walked into the midst of danger, despite my repeated warnings that it would cost her her life. Her scales it is undeniable. As uh, she stalked her prey as relentlessly as a tri any child of the sands, and struck with precision when an opportunity presented itself. Too many adventurers these days care only for glory, uh, fortune, glory. Bella, however, is a kind of generous soul. I'm certain she has no shortage of loyal allies who will gladly fight at her side. <laughs> Why is he a planter? Talent for man, Splanker? Proxy foe for mighty Rockman? And I can concur with my colleague's assessment. We five of the Company of Heroes hereby judge you a worthy challenger. Cast down the Lord Crags, Bellastera, and write a new chapter in the history of Eorzea. Yes, sir. As formality is out of the way, let the festivities begin. Some of the dancers pour the wine. Eat, drink, and be merry, my friends. For today we celebrate the birth of a new legend. Bella Astera, Titan's Bane. Fuck yeah, dude. What a good title. Bella Astera, Titan's Bane. What a good title. What a good title. Titan's Bane. Yes. Yes. Okay. Do the bronze skinned beauty. Ooh. Bronze skinned beauty. Congratulations, sweetling. Now relax and enjoy the show. It's only just begun. Partake of the feast. Food. Feud. We eat feud. Look at all that delicious food. Nice. All food gone now? We eat it all? Hell yeah. 
this thing exotic feast triggers a divine re revelation. In that brief, transcendent moment, you glimpse the true form of reality, comprehend its fleeting nature, and cry out to the heavens in celebration. Yeah, we literally just met God. How good that food was. When you face Lord Crags, think not of Linza Laminza, Yorzia, or anything beyond his chamber. Only of the men and women by your side. Fight for them, and they will fight for you. Remember that no great victory was ever achieved alone. <laughs> Goodly Uplander must be facing mighty rockmen with clever fight, you think? Gob Gobby Flock cannot be coming to rescue this time. Ah, Bella, you brave fool. Promise me that when you meet Titan, you'll look him in the eye and tell him Londonel sends his regards. Yes, sir. You are a veteran of countless battles, Bella. This is but one more. Trust in your experience, and you will prevail. You are blessed with the fortitude of to rival the earth itself. Titan will struggle to break you, I think. I think, he says. I think. Okay. You are kind to indulge them, Bella. This banquet is as much for the company as it is for you. Whatever you may claim, they may claim. Do not deny that they may they, they mean well. But now is scarcely the time for celebration. They have all but pronounced you to the victor. The battle with Titan has yet to begin. The hour has come for the good captain to make good on his promise. We must speak with him again. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Rysgate. Rysgate truly t in intends to tell you how you may face Titan this time. You must be eager to face Titan. As promised, as we will show you the way. Travel to Bronze Lake in Apollonoskia. There you will meet the Riol. Uh, with Riol. Matt. With Riol. Another man who once served with the company. To ensure that his knowledge does not fall into the wrong hands, he will be remain in hiding until you have given the correct signal. Give me your map. Must whistle loudly at the, at the location, lo, at the three locations I mark. Or then will he appear to meet you at this fourth location? Realize this may seem excessive now, but we'll see what that I, it is more than reasonable once you comprehend the risks inherited in our method. Okay, we're going to Lenoskia over here, Camp Bronze Lake. Okay. Whistle here really quick. Whistle. Doesn't exist. Okay, do I just have to right click? Ah. There, I have to right click it. Fourth location, he will stand. Where is he? There? There? There is Riol. Hello, Riol. Greetings, lass. Might you be the one the captain said would be calling? Come calling? Aye, I thought so. Pay attention now, as I ain't explaining myself twice. What do you got for me, Riol? Riol is waiting for you to give him your undivided attention. Go, Riol. Years ago, when we was weighing up how to get to Titan, one of our scouts stumbled across the Beastmen's Aetherite. See? Yeah. What's that look for? Not familiar with them? 
speaks of an unamplified aetherite, which has been claimed by a beast. You wonder, there is no fundamental difference between such aetherites, those which you have used on countless occasions. Ah, well, if it isn't the Shrelean Sh glass, welcome back. Forgive me for interrupting. I had planned to await your report, but I come to curiosity. Tunnels beneath Ogomoro form a bewildering labyrinth that no outsider has ever fully explored. How the company of heroes managed to navigate it is a mystery I have long pondered. Ah, give us a bit of credit, love. We ain't daft enough to try going in the front. Gobos are always keep digging with new tunnels and filling the old ones with traps. One wrong step and the next thing you know, you got a dozen, a uh, hundred dozen of rocks on your noggin. Suicide to even try, see? Was the kobolds didn't seem to have a no trouble finding their way around. That's uh, as got us thinking. I mean, Ogamo Ogamaro mines are like a bleeding city, aren't they? And getting around a city that big would be a right pain in the arse if you, have an if you didn't have an aether in it, wouldn't it? Stood to reason that the kobolds must have one, didn't it? Hmm. Even if there were aetherite shards uh, in the depths of Ogomoro, you would have need to attune yourselves to them before you could identify their signatures with the live stream. Ah, well, are you wrong, love? We had this Charlayan broke to help us. See? Deliver us right into Titan's bedchamber, he did. I don't rightly know how he did it. You remember say him saying it weren't nothing and the Charlayan scholar worth her salt couldn't manage. Did he now? Hmm. Locating a beacon in the absence of a known signature might be possible if the Aetherites in question had... Ah, yes! But in order, in order to guide a traveler to such beacon safely, the second party would be required to... Hmm. It's possible, in theory at least. Not be certain until I try. Mainly, all would depend upon whether or not I am worth my salt. Oh, you are, lass. Don't you really worry about that. A bit of faith in yourself. And you all want, why don't we all go to Zelma's run and take a closer look at the Aetherite? Ain't far, though there's sure to be a few kobolds blocking the way. Not ye can't handle mind. Okay, I guess we're going in. North we go. Here's some up with my like itching and slightly burning a little bit, like the tip of my nose. I don't know why. But it's bugging me so bad. North. Hey, Abby, how you doing? I'm doing all right. I'm just, you know, chilling. We're about to go fight Titan, theoretically. So that'll be fun. I think we're about to, I think, I'm pretty sure we're about to go, go and get after Titan. Oh, bald dude. Get away from me. And there it is. There it is. I knew a kobold was going to hit me. Yeah, after doing a giant go like chase and getting food, like collecting food for like errands, we were finally able to get gather the information on how to actually fight him and get to him. It took forever. Precisely, it almost took two hours in real life. We finally did it. Get back here, Vu. This is the Aetherite, the company of heroes used to gain access to Titan's sanctuary. Hmm, it is a, it is as Papalimo speculated. In its present state, this Aetherite signal will not be strong enough for our purposes. 
I may, however, be able to use my own energies to amplify it. Alas, the task will monopolize my attention for the duration. It seems you will have to proceed without me, Bella. It must... Uh, I must... I must needs remain here and supplement this beacon's power, lest you be denied your only path to escape. Fear not, I will summon the Maelstrom forces stationed nearby to protect us. With effort, it is possible that I may be able to stabilize Aetherite's signal and hereby join you, albeit belated, bel belatedly. To such time as I do, you will be on your own. Now, let us see if I am worth my salt. Of course you are, Yoshola. You're the best. Hey, you managed to get PS5 today? You are so lucky. Where'd you end up getting one off of? Yeah, I was, I was, I tried getting one yesterday, but literally the moment I got off, oh, on Amazon? Okay. It, the moment I got off of work, like, yeah. Uh, impossible. Lucky, lucky. Yeah, we're still we're still looking for try, on trying to get one. I have located another beacon, one far below the mountain. I'm only speculate as to what you will find here. Didn't not in your preparation. Okay, so before we go do this, I'm going to take a quick break. I'm going to get something to drink. And then we will go and queue for the dungeon. I'm just going to go hide in the corner really quick so we don't aggro anything. Okay. Check this out. Look, an adventure in Overworld. Yes, yes, indeed. She uses high threats against us. He is defiled, the hidden sacred sanctuary, trespassed, violated, defiled. Oh, Overworlders must leave. Overworlders must fly. Brothers and sisters, we are not. Her, not. her fate shall be decided by the Lord of Crags. Hear me, Overworlder. You and your treacherous brethren must be held to account for the breaking of the covenant. You shall first to face judgment, then limbs, and hearth breakers, liars, betrayers, hearth breakers. Oh, great father, Lord of Crags, Titan, we summon you. Titan, we summon you. Oh, great father, Lord of Crags, Titan, we summon you. Titan, we summon you. These little guys. I, I think I do a good gremlin voice, to be honest. Here we go. Oh, I haven't fought normal Titan in so long. I've always fought, um, what is it? Not extreme. He, he's come, he's come, Lord of Cracks Titan has come. Oh my dweller, art thou the deaf to their weeping? The vile kind covets ever the blessing of the land and murders my children by the score, all in service to greed. Such sins are beyond pardon. Ah, but I am not the first to suffer thy defiance. Thou didst bring Lifrit low. God's overdweller, thy myriad heresies shall not be a go unpunished. Upon thee shall I wreak the terrible vengeance. Let's go, sumo boy. Okay. I haven't, yeah, I haven't fought normal Titan in a real long time. Here we go. Edge, right? Go. Way. 
music though. The music for the trial fights are usually so good. Okay, here we go again. Get around here. No, you, oh, way farther out, okay. Okay, yeah, Titan Heart. Take out this boy's heart. Oh, I didn't mean to walk. Oh, I was close. I almost walked back into it. Luckily, he, the cast time went away right when I walked over to it. That was close. Again. No, oh, wait. Got the other one. There we go. Kick his butt. Kick his butt. For the horde. Hey, thank you so much, Abby, for the subscribe, dude. Thank you so much for the prime sub. That really means a lot. Let's fucking get this guy. Okay, we're almost there. Going after the healer. Boy out, keep going in. Get out of those, easy enough. Yeah, because he has a lot more, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, in the harder versions, I know he has a lot more pushing attacks and stuff. So yeah, this one's definitely easier. <laughs> the Lord of Crabs, Great Father Titan has fallen. Easy win. Give me that crystal, dude. Give me that crystal. Yes, only two more. So close. We're so close. The crimes of the Overdweller shall never be forgiven, never be forgotten. No, no, never. It was your kind who broke the covenant. We have acted only in defense of our lands. She is your question and your endeavor will there be peace until our time rests. We shall defy you, deny, decry, defy. Get out of here, monkeys. We gotta collect the chaos. We gotta collect all the chaos emeralds to make the... Yeah. Now these are the readings one would expect of an Acom. I have seen though enough. You proceed as planned. Are you sure this is wise, my lord? Your curiosity is untested and unproven. We do not know its true capabilities. Then trust in mine, Rita, Rita team, Rita team. My curiosity, you do so eloquently put it, would have been bested would have bested Titan in the blink of an eye. Why, if there be truth legends, it could. It could readily subjugate the whole, the whole of Eorzea, given but a little while longer. Not so. It is no greater power, a single power has ever been conceived, much less realized. What you say may well be true. While such devices may win battle, I do not believe they will serve to change the course of this war. Oh, but they will. Have a little faith, my friend. 
I cannot endorse this course of action. Pussy! Fool. Oh, she has a fourth. Fascinating. Carry on, Crystal Bearer. Far though you have come, your work is far from done. Yoshola, watch out. Yeah, we're only like halfway through the Realm Reborn. Yeah, we got a long way to go. And not rem rem remained mark his passing. Well, the, the stations are nothing if not elusive. The little wonder that they should cast advanced teleportation magics at will. That they would choose to consort with the Empire. Common goal could they possibly share? Hmm. Hmm. I feared I might arrive too late. I see you had the matter well in hand. I have taken measures to ensure that we are not pursued. Not say how long they will hold. Take your leave while the kobolds are still in disarray. I will follow and on. There is something I must investigate before I depart. Teleport you to the Aetherite in Zelma's Run. We will rendezvous at Camp Bronze. Agreed? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> We're all alone. Everyone left already. Okay. Well, I guess we're going back to Camp Bronze Lake. Uh, wait, this person... I'm reading, like, the, the text they were saying while I was in the cutscene. It was like, that was the cleanest run I've seen in a while. I'm gonna be honest. It's... When it comes to Titan, it's primarily just a bunch of don't stand in things. How can you not... Like, when it comes to normal Titan, that is. How do you have a bad normal titan run like the, the higher level difficulties i understand but a normal titan run because it's just don't stand in this and you're fine new players bog dude i am relieved to see you well but come let us discuss our next step yes ma'am yoshola what do you got for me yoshola is keen to discuss your next task Though a world will already have reached Maelstrom Command, protocol requires that a representative of our order inform the High Commander of the mission's success. The honor is rightfully yours, but Once again, I commend you on your job well done. We shall speak again soon. Okay, I guess we're going to, uh... We're going to Lonoshka? Oh, we gotta go to the High Commander over there. Ah, I got it, I got it. The Limsa Lomonimnza. Lim lom 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 lom. Limo lomo. So bustling. Actually, it's not as bustling as it used to. Be. It's not as bustling as it was earlier. Earlier, it was crazy. Like, even more than this. Just teleport there. Can we just go to After Castle? After Castle. I think that's the one we go to. Yes, right here. Yeah, everyone is, everyone is prepping for the release in like, is like two weeks, not including this one. Everyone is prepping right now. Hello. Thank you for coming, Bella. Word of your triumphs reached me some while ago, but I am pleased to inform to have it personally to confirmed. First a free and now Titan. Truly, when I think of your achievements, I feel the loss of the warriors of light less keenly. And there can be no greater compliment than that. You and your order are heroes. The people of Limza Lominza are forever in your debt. I shall relay them at the details to our report to the Admiral forthwith. Please send my regards to the silence of the seventh dawn. I am not prepared. Oh, God. Liam O'Brien has such a good voice. Ella, uh, this is Minfelia. Minfelia, Yoshola has informed me of your success. You have won a great victory for the people of Eorzea. 
one that shall not be forgotten. And what is more, both you and Yoshola emerged from Ogomoro uh, unscathed, while Tataru and the others seemed as glad as they, of that as they did of Titan's fall. Look forward to a hero's welcome. You'll be awaiting your return at the Waking Sands. There's much to discuss. Godspeed. The Waking Sands. Yeah, we can just take the Vesper Bay ticket. Yeah, the, the subscribe, uh, our subscribe thing, I gotta, I think I'm gonna change it. I think I'm gonna change it to, instead of For the Horde, I'm gonna change it to, to like, maybe the, um, I was thinking maybe the, uh, victory so sound. It's just like a short, a short clip of the victory sound for Final Fantasy. And have a little gift for that. I think it'd be good. And where'd we go? We're here. Oh my god. Yeah, okay, so I know... I know this happens. I don't know what caused it or anything. I've never... Holy shit. Yeah, when I played this originally, I kind of just ran through, so I didn't, I didn't know the story or anything. This literally just randomly happened. There's no build-up to this. Okay. Everyone's just dead. What the fuck happened, dude? We just talked to Minfilia a couple of seconds ago. Minroxia, what what happened? Minroxia, the the Lunion girl. This this one is glad. Walking one is safe. Yeah, the Horde died with Sarfang. Yeah, 100%. 100% Horde died with Sarfang. As a Horde player, I can say that for sure. We'll be awaiting your return at the Waking Sands. There is much to discuss. Godspeed. Thank heaven she is safe. Louis Soir, do you see? Your light shines brightly in this one, and in time, it will illuminate the realm once more. Oh! Oh my god, are they seeing shot? Advance no further! Oh, is it is this chick? Yeah, she literally was just shooting them. We okay. have come for the one who slayed Ifrit and Titan. Bring her forth, and you may yet know mercy. No. Taru! Tadar! <laughs> Holy shit! Bruh! Confound it! Roxia. Stay out of sight. I would leave a message with you. No. I surrender myself on the condition you spare the innocents. Oh, here it goes. It's happening. It's finally happening. Minfilia is, pl is playing the damsel in distress card starting now onward throughout the rest of the game. This is the beginning of her damsel in distress. Conditions. There speaks the supreme sire. I'll grant you have courage, but you would be better served by armor. Search all you will. The one you seek is not here. Yeah, from this point on, she's just rescue me, hero. Rescue me, hero. And that's all she is. So it would seem. The VS brings up a good point, though. It's like, Minfilia, you're the leader of the Scions. 
and all you wear is like a crop top and some crazy ass pants look at this chick she's on full armor badass she has a gun equipped to her arm like bruh you're gonna be the leader of like an, an order of peacemakers you gotta have at least some kind of protection not just wear some crop top like her armor could probably fucking deflect bullets we feel like if you get shot or st uh, attacked or anything to it's just gonna here. hit you but how <gasps> hold that thought Noroxia, no! Holy shit! No! Oh my god! Conditions of surrender denied. I wasn't expecting her to get straight fucking kicked. Oh Cease my at god. once! Oh. Have you not done enough? Perhaps. Enough. We must away. Oh yeah, true. That, that plus ten armor crop top. Quarry, the high priestess of the Scions should suffice for now. They say she also possesses the Echo. <laughs> I cannot wait to hear her scream. What a... I a said badass. enough. Holy shit! We leave. Bring the prisoners. What a psychopath, but god damn, is she a badass? Okay, I thought Nero Okay, so honestly, I thought Neuroxia got uh shot. I didn't realize that all that happened, she got fucking punted into a wall. Like holy shit, dude. Fucking Fucking Manilia asked me this one to uh, case of walking one returned. This one was to say they at church in Eastern Thanlan walking on this claim sanctuary pride to protect walking one Manilia from from the imperial one. Kill this one. Save. Our little onion. Our little onion died from strip getting kicked into a wall, dude. Holy shit. That kick was so intense. That she shot from here to here and then back to here, basically. Like, it, yeah, that fucking was a super. That was a fucking Sparta kick if I've ever seen one. Holy crap. Made her bounce around like a bouncy ball. No wonder she died. We're just gonna teleport out of here. We gotta get to the church, figure out what the fuck is up, dude. Oh my god. Like. When I played this version, like I said, I've skipped all the cut. I skipped, I skipped all the cutscenes, so this is a fresh take for me. I have no clue what's actually happening. I knew people died, but I didn't know how fucking crazy that would have been. Like legitimately, all all I remember is like, oh, these people are dead. I have no clue who they are. Let me just like bury their corpses. Essentially, I didn't realize what actually happened. Yeah, Minfilia is now damsel in distress mode. She stay that way for the rest of the game. I am excited because apparently, if not mistaken, isn't Endwalker supposed to be the end of this current arc? And like starting it with the expansion, the is there is it Endwalker or the expansion after Endwalker that's actually supposed to be like a brand new like full story? Like the beginning of an actual like new story i don't remember but i think it's one of those i'm troubling you child you have the look of one who has endured great suffering 
Anything I can do to help. Anything at all. You would only ask. Forgive me, Father, for I've sinned. Curse my enemy's father. Call down divine vengeance upon those who have butchered my friends. Wild roses are dead, Father, and I know not what to do. Oh, you're up to Stormblood? Yeah, I think they've decided... If I'm mistaken... I'm not going to spoil anything if you're only up to Stormblood. I'm not going to spoil... Actually, I, w I can't spoil anything. I don't know what the story is. <laughs> I've only played the gameplay. But, um... Yeah, I think either Endwalker or the one after that, it's supposed to be the conclusion of, like, all of the expansions. Because all of the expansions so far have built up to the same story. I think it's supposed to be the end of this story and the start of a new one. And it's going to be, like, a new, brand new thing. Hence, Endwalker being the end of the story. And the next expansion, or, like, the end of the of Endwalker is supposed to be the start of a brand new, fresh story. Uh, ARR plus... Oh. Oh, I hope not. I feel, I definitely feel like they've learned from ARR and they don't need to do this again, you know? Wild roses are dead, father. They're all dead. My onion got kicked into a wall and fucking it blew up, okay? It died. What are we going to do? Wild roses. We may speak freely here. We are friends of the Scion. Father, they're all dead. How? How could this have happened? You are certain that Minfilia was among those taken by the Guardian, the Arleans. Let's pray no, no further harm comes to them. You may stay here for as long as you wish. The least I can do for a friend of Minfilia's. No, I've known her since she was but a child. Well do I recall the day of our first meeting. I swore then to do everything in my power to support her. I will gladly offer the self-same service to her brother and sister Sion. So please, no matter what you require, you do not need hesitate to ask. Marquise, you come here for a moment. Yes, father. The Marquise, yes. Our boy. You require assistance, please speak with Marquise. He's a trifle, he's tri trifle shy, but I assure you he means well. I should explain. Marquis is a survivor of the Battle of Chartenau. Alas, his experiences took a terrible toll upon his mind. Had we not taken taken him into our care, he would surely have perished in the desert. Marquis, I want you to look after Bella. Do you understand? Yes, father. Marquis. Those who wait. Marquise has personal request to make it. Excuse me, Bella. Do you have a moment? Concerns this bro broken whore lodge, which was found in the pocket of a man brought here before burial. There's something familiar about it. Just what I, what I cannot say. Perhaps if the, I tinker with the device, it will come to me. However, I lack the proper tools to do so. I would ask that you journey to the Camp Drybone in my stead to obtain a ballpoint ball point chisel and a pair of needle-nose pliers. They're often used by goldsmiths, so perhaps they would be the best people to ask. Of course, I do not expect you to foot the bill. Here, take this coin purse. That should cover it. I got you, Marquise. So bright now. Well, now that they're all dead and we've seen all that, it's time for happiness. Nice and bright, you know, we got the chocobo music playing, everything is fine. No one died at all. Blood point chisel, you say, and a pair of needle nose pliers? Those things don't come cheap, you know. 
Dollars, balls. I mean, yes, that should be sufficient payment. Nice doing business with you. <laughs> we totally overpaid for that shit. We totally overpaid for that shit. This stuff's probably like 20 gil. Probably paid him like 200. Yeah, see, everything's so happy. We got the Chocobo theme playing, you know. The Mar the Marquise is gonna go doodle with some with some bobbins and stuff, you know. Every everything is fine. Everything's great. Well, we'll go save Minfilia some other time. She can go play the keep playing the damsel in distress card. We'll, we're gonna just hang out with Marquise. Have we brought the tools? Uh, have we brought the tools I've requested? Here's a. N and some pliers. Chisel and some pliers. Hmm, something occurs to me. Wait, please wait here for a moment. Okay, Marquise. Just for naught, though I repaired the device easily, the sensation that stirs within me remains a mystery. But how did I do it? These hands. My hands. They moved with a mind of their own, deftly manipulating the clockwork mechanism. No doubt of, or uncertainty. I knew exactly what to do, as though I had performed the same motions countless times before. Pardon me, Bella. It was a mistake. Please give the horror lodge to Sister Alund. The man who once owned it was certainly in her care, and I think it's best that it be returned to him. These hands. These hands, what are they? Sister Elund, what are these hands? Good morrow to you, madame. Have you come to pay your respects to this man? Here's a horror lodge. Still don't know what a horror lodge is. Never before have I seen such a queer device. See that it measures the passing of time? Mayhap they are more common to Garlemald, given to understand that its cities are filled with all matters of amazing technologies. Marquis said it belonged to the deceased. Oh dear, I don't suppose that, oh, that the owner uh, might have been a Garlean spy. It behoove us to notify the authorities in Camp Drybone. But mayhap more importantly, how did Marquis manage to repair this device? He had a talent for the trades, but this goes far beyond meddling... Men Mending fences and thatching roofs. Ooh, Marquise, you suspicious boy. I don't even care. We're just going to use the weapon coffer. Weapons, and we're going to get the quest, but then we're going to go back to old uh, to get, do our little 40 quest. Recognize you now, Bella. Allow me to express my deepest condolences for those who have lost their lives in the attack. Apologize if discussing this upsets you, but know that the bodies you of your comrades are presently being removed from the waking sands and prepared for transport here. I wish to leave this this work to others. I understand. However, part might help help you to find closure. He wants me to go to the Waking Sands and pick up my friends' corpses and shovel them here. Totally not.